our offering this morning is naturally for the GEMS Club. Uh, this is to help our GEMS Club do the wonderful work that they do. We have not only, of course, uh, young ladies coming to our GEMS Club from our own congregation, children of uh, members and attenders, but we also have uh, girls from throughout Athens and the surrounding area coming and learning uh, all that it means to be a, a girl who has met the Savior and participating in badge work and creating cub cars and doing all kinds of wonderful and fun things together with their leaders. Let us come to God in congregational prayer this morning. Father in heaven, thank you so much for bringing us together this morning. Thank you so much for these gems that we have seen uh, doing their the litanies and participating in the service. Thank you so much for all the many gems who are uh, were not able to be seen but are hopefully participating in this service at home. Lord, we pray that you will be with girls not only here in Athens but throughout the world. We know, O oh God, that in many places, including often in our own country, um, girls face an uphill battle in so many different ways. Lord, help us all as a society, as a world, to recognize that girls and boys, men and women, that regardless of race or background or color or creed, all people, young and old, are created in your image and are worthy of dignity and respect and love. Lord, may they experience the opportunities that you would give to them. May they be given the chance to glorify you in whatever you call them to. Father, we thank you. Lord God, we pray also that you would receive these, our tithes and offerings, that they would be a blessing to you, that they would glorify and honor you, and that they would enable the GEMS leaders and uh, the GEMS program ministry to carry on and grow. Lord, we long for the day when we can get back together as uh, girls clubs and boys clubs and various ministries. Lord, please hasten that day. Lord, we ask too, O oh God, that you would be with this whole world, O oh God. Again, we lay before you all of those who are battling on the front lines, who are, who are helping those who are ill. Lord, we think of uh, all of the nurses and doctors and frontline workers of various types who are battling COVID-19 in this world. But we think also, O oh God, of the many things that continue to happen in this world that maybe we, we aren't hearing about as much. Lord, one thing that we, we have heard a lot about this week, and rightly so, is the, the mass shooting in Nova Scotia. Lord, please, oh please, Comfort the many, many people who have lost loved ones there. Lord, please, please be with the RCMP as they continue their investigation. And Lord, if there are lessons to be learned, which there always are, Lord, we pray that they will be learned. Lord, we pray for especially for those who are grieving and who cannot get together physically at this time. What a terrible thing to have to grieve without being able to give a hug or put an arm around a shoulder or cry together in one another's arms. Lord, please console them and comfort them. Lord God, we pray, we pray as well in a continued way for the leaders of this world. There are so many places in this world where things are, are not seemingly going very well right now. Lord, we ask your mercy. And, and, and God, as we come to you in the scriptures, as we look at, at what it means to be a child of God, not just a, 
a girl who has been saved by you, O oh God, but anyone who has been saved by you, Lord, we pray that you will speak to our hearts and minds. Lord, may we hear what you would have us hear. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.